Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Oh, just, I don't I just don't feel like Hillary <laughs> in it right now, man. And they don't be talking about nothing. <laughs> Hey, well, you, you know your no cousin. Problem. You know your cousin. I know I ain't got that problem. You no problem. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know your cousin. Yeah, this fool I wrecked the car. I, I don't care. Why are you calling me? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the oh, podcast. All... <laughs> yeah, 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 we we was venting a little bit to one another. Um, you know, daddy issues for the sake of words. Showtime, Sean P, and with your team. Oh man. Um, What's up, boss? Nothing, man. You know, uh, we had a good good night of boxing yesterday. Well, a good main event. I was. I was purely entertained. Man, I, I was excited for this fight. Okay. And the way the fight was playing itself out, it made me feel good about being excited for the fight. Mm-hmm. You know, like AJ been through his up and down, ups and downs. The boy been through his ups and downs. And, you know, I always like to tell people, like, when, when it ain't the biggest fight in the world, like, you still should tune in because something good might mm-hmm. happen. And sure enough, man, uh, yo, that was that was a pleasant surprise. I I didn't think it was gonna go down. I don't know why I didn't think it was gonna go down. That you know way. what? Uh, ever since Dubai last fight and even with Usyk, I'm like, I got a little more respect from this man. Got to. But the thing about it is that what the way they performed last night, especially Dubai going to get it, yeah. is how I wanted Belanga to show us in the Canelo fight. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to go get it. Yeah. That five rounds was more entertaining than that twelve we've seen the week before. What, what what did he say? A six round knockout? He was gonna knock out Canelo in the sixth round? Yeah. I think it was the sixth round. It was that hypothetically it was the sixth round. I wanted to see him go for it. You said you said this is what you was gonna do. Yeah. And I wanted to see that energy. I didn't see that, but you know, it, it, we, we, no need to knock that fight is is here yeah. and done. But uh yesterday, man, I call them the the England heavies. That's what I call them. The England heavies. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, it don't make a lot of noise over here for the, you know, a, lot, a big portion of the boxing world mm-hmm. over here. It's like, when you ain't doing it here in the States, it don't matter. I don't feel that way, but I know a lot of people mm-hmm. in the world do. They like, if you want you want to get it done, you, you got to come to Vegas, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you got to come to New York. Let's start at the top, though, man, because we had a little bit of noise on ESPN. Yeah, we started, what, Friday night? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna start with Vargas, the Vargas Emiliano. Emiliano, man, he is well on his way. You know, everybody, you know, the brothers, the dad, Emiliano the entire right. family, and now even the world has has really been chiming mm-hmm. about uh, Emiliano more than than anybody else. I stand on what I say, and I believe it, man. I believe that Fernando Jr. could be and should be kind of paving that way for the sake of words but you know they all getting behind little bro and ain't nothing wrong with that yeah little bro seems like he's paving the way more than the other two right now and like i said i wish fernando jr would turn it up yeah it's time to start getting the contender fight posting too much yeah yeah i just more <laughs> social media more fighting I yeah mean, it kind of is what it is yeah. uh i guess you got to do a little bit of both of that now yeah we we older yeah you know, and, 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 and for, shout out to Fernando. He ain't that young. He right behind no, us. No, he not. But actually. he got young energy. Yeah. Yeah, he got young energy. I'll be like, Fernando, how are you at everything, bro? <laughs> My man be at everything. Yeah. And I guess you need that in the sport. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I want to see him turn it up. I just want to see him, the world really see his skills and mm-hmm. see really what he could do. Mm-hmm. Emiliano's moving. We know what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But man, every time that kid gets in the ring, he performs. Yeah. Uh, the most I ever heard about him is like, one time it was some it was rocky and sparring, but I I, I don't see it in the ring. <laughs> so I mean that's where you're supposed to improve and have hiccups is in sparring because it's basically practice. That's that's where when you have a bad day you wanted to be at the gym not on fight night. Yeah. You know? So and Emiliano I'm sure has had his his growing pains with other more mature and more experienced mm-hmm. fighters. He's got more experience than the other two because he, he when they decided to fight, he was younger and mm-hmm. finally and, and he started out younger than them. So, you know, I guess for the sake of words, he's where he's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And the other the other two, because they didn't invest that time earlier on in their lives, they may be where they're at right now. But it, it, even when we want to go back and talk about Amato and his fight with Sean uh, mm-hmm. Garcia. For the level that he's at. That was a good fight. That was an f- amazing yeah. fight. That was a fun <laughs> fight to watch. Yeah. Uh a little crazy in the in the in the in the you know the lead up and all that kind of stuff. But 
super fun. And again, while, while I'm bringing the model up is because you got to understand, we say this all the time, there's levels to this. Mm -hmm. And we can, we can identify that here's a family that comes from fighting. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the levels, we can see that there's just a clear difference in the level that a model's on opposed to Emiliano here. And it's okay for a model to not be where his younger brother is when you put him in the ring with somebody that's on his level. You still get something fun. You still get something extremely entertaining. And, you know, he going to do his job before and after the fight, you know? Uh, well, yeah, you, you ready to push him to the contender level? This kid right here, right? Uh, you, still, you still one more away. Because I got some fights for him. I feel like he's one or two away. From putting him I got no clue, by the way. I mean, okay, I can't say okay. I don't got no clue. Okay. I do understand, you know, building a fighter. But I feel like there could be something more that needs to happen for him before he... What, what you got for him? All right. The guy that everybody gets that if, <laughs> at one, what, 135? 135. The guy that everybody gets Hold on, let to me show if you, if you that one. <laughs> a veteran in the game, legend in the game. Who the hell is it? Everybody get him. <laughs> Jose Pedraza. Pedraza. <laughs> get him Jose next. Everybody get him. That's messed up. <laughs> You're right, though. Hey, you just, it's, he's going to make you get in your bag and show us a little something. Yeah. Jose yeah. ain't the same what he used to be. His yeah, body can form a little that. bit. Yeah, we know that. And uh, when think... you talking about um, go ahead. When you talking about the step ups though, mm -hmm. that's the next like the yeah. the, the, the the maturation process. The next step for him is like a, a Jose. A Jose Pedraza has been there, mm -hmm. has the names, beatable. Yeah, still gonna give you some resistance. And then the thing becomes the narrative is how soon can you get him out? Opposed to a Tank Davis or, or someone Keyshawn else. Davis, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So I like that one. What else? You got, you got, yeah, I got another one. I got, I got another one. one. This one, this one. It's a little more of a step. George Cambosis. Mm. I that's, think that's a good fight. You got, you got Cambosis making some more money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cambosis. <laughs> yeah. You, he the new Jose Pedraza. Uh, 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 uh. Shout out to Cambosis. Yeah, listen, that's, a, that's another really good fight for him. You know, you again, you're talking about... The fighter who clearly has the name, clearly mm -hmm. has the ability to, to pose resistance. And then beyond that, a little crafty too. A little just yeah. a little, you know, that that look in his eye will, will has a t you know, has we've shown we've seen that that's thrown guys off, you know, mm -hmm. clearly didn't throw off Devin Haney, but um uh that's another that's a really yeah, good fight. Yeah, for that's him. a two. Yeah. I mean, once you get to that 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 cause once you're in that top fifteen, yeah. It gets dangerous up there. You got yeah. the Frank Martin, the Keyshawns, the yeah. Zapatas. You got yeah. Tank at the top. Yeah. Shakur. So uh, not there yet. I say, so next year I would like to see the Pedrazas, Cambosas, mm -hmm. and then 2026 is when we really get them in there. Well, yeah, we at the end of September. Yep. I could, I, I'd like to see them in December before the end of the year. Pedraza? No, 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 this else? kid right here. You wanna see, you wanna I like Pedraza? to see him. I, you I, want the Pedraza I, next? Let's go. That's the next level. Let's you, go. Yeah, because after we get through one or two of those, yeah. now we put you up in there really with the yeah, top 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think the thing that we... is still this fine line between promoting a fighter, building a fighter. Not only are you building the fighter himself, mm -hmm. getting him through the process of learning how to become a, a professional fighter, all those kinds of stuff. You're also, as you know, you're building up his stock as well, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a fine line between moving a fighter... His stock, someone such as this kid, the stock is practically already there. Mm -hmm. He just got to prove himself maybe once or twice more. And the name has done everything else. You know what I mean? So um, it's a fine line. I I think maybe, maybe, maybe it's got to be Pedraza. You like you like for, that now? For me to see like, okay, the kid got yeah. everything checked off. If you smoke off. Pedraza. Yeah, like, everything got everything man. checked off. You know, like here, for an example, when you got a good looking kid, skinnier kid you ain't got the tank build yeah. the thing you question is the power you know the, the thing you question is the strength you know so i don't think we've seen him in the ring with somebody that has posed that resistance to give him uh so that we can see the true strength that he has clearly we saw the power against fryer and shout out to fryer too irish kid that just 
Yeah, I was like, take I was like, yo, at any any time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was even looking at Tom, like, yo, you just gonna let this happen, <laughs> you know? I was looking at the ref, like, you just gonna let this happen. But every time I was thinking it, he came he right back. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, Fryer went in there and did what he yeah. what he was supposed to do. Shout out to Fryer, man. Didn't like, lay down. Yeah. I I I was watching the fight and I was thinking to myself, like, as much as I hate it, boxing needs guys like this. Mm-hmm. Guys that well, for someone like Emiliano, will allow him to get his feet wet a little more, get him through some rounds, but is going to put up this resistance and not say, I know who you are, I'm going to lay down for you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So the game need that. And, um, you know, Fryer really did show up on, on fight night. He, you know, obviously we knew, you know, he's just milestones behind Emiliano when it comes to uh, technique and, and talent and things of that nature. But... The dude show heart, man. And I appreciated that because I gave up on him like a good four or five times and he came back. I was like, well, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, like, you know. You know, there's one guy that disappeared, but I thought he was going to be like that guy, like the Pedraza. Everybody get up in there and you really get tested. You fought him. Adrian Granados. Mm-hmm. I thought Adrian Granados was going to be that guy. Mm-hmm. I'm looking, I'm, I'm just looking up like, dang, Adrian Granados hasn't fought since 2021. Yeah. He has a much scheduled in October on the 5th. Okay. But yeah, my Adrian Pedraza got up in there with Fatuna, Porter, Broner. Yeah. That Broner never that Broner fight was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah, Garcia, Robert Easter. Yeah, he, he Connor Ben. Yeah, but I thought he'd be that guy that really, mm-hmm. if you yeah, really want to show yourself, you got Adrian Granados. Yeah, shout out to no Adrian Granados. Yeah. Well, yeah, baby. Yeah, and also shout out to Andre Ward. Uh, we mentioned Haney. I don't know if you were able to see the interview nah, that they heard, did. They I did heard. a nice little one on one. The Art of Ward mm. is the name okay, of that. Okay. Of that. So I'm like, all right, SP, step it up, yeah. you know. But man, I gotta, I gotta shout out Dre, man, doing his thing mm-hmm. uh, over there with um, what is it? What's the name of that platform? The uh, All the Smoke, All the Smoke, okay. um, and uh, I, I like what they've been able to do so far. Yeah. And I know I mentioned last week that they got a show that they're doing. A po- I think it's an actual podcast show. Andre Ward, Andre Darrell, and Andre Berto. And shout out to all the smoke. They start off at under Showtime. Now they got their own platform mm-hmm. and they doing their own thing. Shout mm-hmm. out to uh, Stephen Jackson, yeah. Matt Barnes. Yeah, and I'm waiting on the meeting. So anytime. Oh, y'all probably having a meeting. Psh, supposed to been happening. Oh, okay. Shout We're not to cutting him. that out either. It's, it'll get to him. Shout out to him. It was good dudes over there, man. Yeah. No, but that was a really good interview, and it was really good to see Haney like, kind of like, I guess for the sake of words. Showing himself, mm-hmm. you know, we've always and we know, you know, anytime it's the father and the dad, you always refer yeah. to them both. You always expect to see them both. Mm-hmm. You know, people. I think in the last maybe the last two years, have gotten used to not seeing me with my dad everywhere mm-hmm. I'm at, and I think people was like, "Oh, he just can't keep up with you." I'm like, "No, I'm doing my thing, and he doing mm-hmm. his thing." You know, so but it was good to see him really just kind of stand on his own too, or sit there on his own, you know, and and, and speak for himself. And, you know, say the things that, you know, kind of tell the story for the sake of words. I yeah, appreciate it. It's like pros and cons of what happened with him and the Ryan Garcia situation. You actually see him stepping out, starting to talk more. And mm-hmm. that's sometimes what you need as a young man. He, your dad can only carry you so far. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're your own man at that point. Mm-hmm. And let's see that Devin Haney. We don't even know Devin, Devin Haney character. Yeah. Because we sometimes people hate you because of your dad mm-hmm. or hate vice versa. It's like... Mm-hmm. Who is Devin Haney? It's it's they annoying instead of he's annoying yeah. or he's cool. It's just it's one or the other. The whole group. They cool yeah. or they, or they annoying. Yeah, the whole based group. Based off of based off of whichever one is yeah, like yeah. a little out there a little more. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's life. Funny. Yeah, that's funny. Um and and you know, no no knock on Bill whatsoever. No, nah, he's doing what he um, gotta do, promote his Yeah, son. yeah. Uh but it's you know, it's a part of the process. Yeah. Especially for kids, you know, and and Haney. You know, he spoke on how his dad used to put the camera in his face and all that kind of stuff. He was kind of like, what do I do? You know, he'll be all right. You know, and it was for me, it was just good to see him get back, you know, um, public with who, you know, what's going on with with everything. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see him back in the ring, man. We're going to get him by the end of the year. I know you want everybody by the end of the year. I want everybody by the end of the year. (laughs) You don't care who it is. You want Munguia back in the Canelo back in the ring. Deontay Wilder, you you plan on fighting again? Terrence Crawford. December is coming, sir. John said, everybody got to. You still got time. John said, we got a camp we can get in? Everybody got till December to get back in the ring. Um, Munguia's back. Yeah, Munguia's back. So that's what I'm talking about. Right back. Five months? No. That was just happening in May. 
Yeah, just May, have May, June, July, right August. Back. Oh, four months. Yeah, right four back. months, baby. That's, That's how what you I'm do. talking about. That's how you do it. And come back looking good, too. Yeah, and a you great, know? great performance. Yeah. Uh, the guy was there to fight. Yeah. Another guy like Fryer didn't lay down. Uh, what's this guy? I didn't, jot, I didn't jot his name. And I'm Bazina. I'm not Bazina. I don't know. Bazina. Bazian. 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 Yeah. Bazian came to fight, gave him a little yeah, resistance. Yeah. But that that's what I like. He's Magia, I feel like once once he's the champion, is he a champion? Oh the belt is crazy. Yeah. Uh he will be a fighting champion. That's what I like about him. Yeah. Usually you fight like the top, which is Canelo, you're gone for a year. But look how Canelo did it though. Yeah. So we talk about Floyd. I, I don't I don't I don't personally Say Floyd changed the game. Fighters only fighting once, twice a year because mm-hmm. Floyd showed them when you're making money, you ain't got. But when you consider and you look at it for the black population in boxing, Floyd was the mark. Floyd mm-hmm. was the example for the Hispanic mm-hmm. population, Mexican specifically. Canelo was the mm-hmm. example, and Canelo was still popping off two, three, yeah, he four years. At one point, he was three or four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So expect Munguia to keep getting back at it. Yeah. And I, I was happy to just, I forgot that he was fighting. And you, it's like, that's why I tell, you know, I care about the loss. It didn't even matter, bro. <laughs> we don't even, we ain't even talking about it anymore. That's why, that's why I want Belanga to do. Like, you guys don't, you guys have so many years on your life. So mm-hmm. if you waste a year out the ring, that's a year you did nothing. This, this on your boxing life, so you only got so much time you can actually do this, man. This is a teachable moment, and thank you. Think about it like this: everybody talks about your fight the day after the fight. I don't know about other platforms, <laughs> but I feel like we're the only platform that's gonna talk about a fight a week later, yeah. two weeks later. Sometimes we come back to it a month later. We talk about Haney. That fight was yeah. back in. You know what I mean? We keep the relevancy of the fight game. Going, but boxing. But boxing in general, <laughs> what have you done for me lately? Mm-hmm. Is what my dad always would say. After a week, it's like it's the start over. Everybody else is fighting. Every there's other things going on in the fight game, and what you did, whether it was great or, or good or bad, it starts to just kind of fade yeah. to black. So when you get in the ring with somebody like Canelo Alvarez, your stock is as high as it's gonna be. Ride that wave. And if you wait a month, two months. Three months, let that wave four months. Sure. Don't let that. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta give them that wave, yeah. you know. And um, this is kind of what I was saying about about Roley. That opponent that he had last week was prime for him to show mm-hmm. that he's still that knockout artist. Mm-hmm. And the thing that he needed to do was show everybody that I could still knock heads. Mm-hmm. When you don't do that, and you're riding the wave of a Tank Davis name and. Even in the knockout, yeah, people, yeah. we want to know who you are after this knockout. And we see you Good gun shy and yeah. all this other kind of stuff, but you still have some relevancy. It's time for you now to do what you got to do, which is get that knockout. Obviously, we we know that it wasn't that way. But again, man, um, it was good to see Munguia get back in it um, on ESPN, nonetheless. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, again, you go from having a, a, a performance, a really good performance against Canelo, mm-hmm. uh, Prime, and um, the Zone, and then you come back on ESPN. I mean, the kid is doing it right, and everybody behind him is doing is 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 steering him correctly. Yeah, the, the kid is just fighting at this point. Man, I he back in the hey. You want to make a bet that he back before before the end of the year? Yeah, I did that. No, that dude. <laughs> yeah. I can he see him fighting again. Yeah, and then I can see him early next year fighting a. Belanga plant or something like that. He said he mentioned Belanga and plant. Yeah, yeah. So he, he don't play like that. I love both those fights. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about Demetrius Andrade? I want Boo Boo. Where you at, boss? I just want Boo Boo. You want Boo Boo back? Just want Boo Boo back. I want no, no, no. I want him back. September. You, I want him back in October. He ain't even announced the, the fight. You yet. mean in twenty twenty four? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is he in camp? <laughs> yeah, he ain't even announced a fight yet. Got to get back. You can't, you know, even again, in the loss, you in the ring with Benavidez, not the biggest name, but one of the biggest names yeah. at 168. The best thing you could do is continue to, you know, show and prove. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Demetrius versus Elijah Garcia. Is that something? That's coming up? 
You know what I'm saying? How would you feel about that? That's, that's a tough fight for Garcia. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, a tough fight for him. After he, coming off a loss. Just in the ring with Karan, I think. Yeah, and uh, that, you know, just a crafty, strong, mm -hmm. physical guy, good corner, mm -hmm. smart in the ring. You're going up against a lot of that in Demetrius Andre as well. And he on Southpaw on top of that. So, so that's a lot for Elijah coming back. But that's I mean, if you, if you win that fight, you're right back in it. Oh, you know, is, is right the back in the mix. right back in it though? Because he really, ne he wasn't necessarily in the mix. Okay. He was, he was he around was, the outskirts. He, to me, he was one of the fighters that was building his name, okay. and getting on the on the PBC cards was really helping build his name and, and and his recognition. Obviously, you take a loss and that kind of slows down, so you just get back on the on the on the trail of building myself back up, and I think. Man, it's really hard to put my, my my finger on what's going on with that kid because the first fight got called off. Mm -hmm. And remember, <laughs> remember we were at the press conference. Did we interview him? No, we did. Uh, well, that was that, that was, was at the yeah. Okay. It was before the, with, the fight. With the dad, before, that was his, with the dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fight that got called off, he was on stage, and I don't think you were listening. And I snatched my headphones off. I said, "Did you hear what he just said?" And you said, "No." I said, "Yo, he don't sound sure. He don't sound like he's confident." He sound like he don't know who gonna win this fight, and you can't go to the ring feeling like you don't know who gonna win the fight. No, I gotta no, feel like I'm winning, you no know. No matter mean? what. And then once the fight happened, it kind of I felt like I it it was kind of showed to me when that fight got called off, he was sick or something yeah, along those lines. Yeah. It didn't make sense, y'all. Then he came back, and Lost, we saw what happened. Yeah. So I'm I really I can't figure it out. I don't know what's going on with him. If it's a mental situation for him, a AJ Dubois kind of situation, mm -hmm. or if it's just grown pains on fight night and you had a bad night, you know. Yeah, I mean, Bill, the kid still was like twenty one, something super young. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah just build him yeah. back up. Give yeah. him, give him. It's a, we, what they're at. What 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 weight are they? You gotta get back. One sixty eight December. They got them a Adrian Granados <laughs> or Jose Petraza there, and that's Sergio Devachinko. Everybody fights him. Yeah. So you, you give <laughs> give him the Elijah or or Andre uh, who or uh, Demetrius who Sergey Elijah yeah either give him a uh, Devinchenko or no no I'm saying give Devinchenko to Demetrius oh. or Elijah oh that's messed up now you <laughs> oh you just want you want to get soft touch no who oh, Sergey you saying Sergey Sergey that's Sergi. a tough fight for both of them yeah yeah but no nah, man he, he no nah, I can't fight man that's what you do that's what, that's what he does. <laughs> Been okay, it, man. That's, I don't care. That's he what he done does. Been through it. Yeah, now nah, he. Yeah, if he retires, I ain't got nothing against him. He done been through it. He like, um, <laughs> but he <laughs> always a tough night. I can't think of this guy's name. So, oh man, so I'm tip my time. I'm gonna let it go. Back in the day? No, no, no. It's a football player. Oh, okay. Uh, so, but it's, yeah, I, I got. Can't catch go. a break. He on the top of my huh? The uh, football player that can't catch a break. Football player that played on every team. <laughs> the oh, okay. quarterback. Ryan Garcia. Ryan no, Fitzpatrick. Uh, Fitzpatrick, yeah. yeah played on every team. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, every team. Like, yeah. It's got to stop at some point. And Man. you stay, and stay relevant. You, you go coach and everybody appreciate you as a coach. Which one you prefer better? McGee Plant, McGee Belanger? Man. I think, man, I, now you're taking a fight away from me, giving me a fight that I want. <laughs> I, I really want Mungia. I'm sorry. I really want Plant and, and Berlanga. Oh, you saying McGee getting in the way? I, bro, McGee getting in the way. <laughs> but both them fights is great fights. Yeah, or, or, that's a round robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Everybody. Whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. Yeah, let's do it. I, I feel like, which one makes more sense? Uh... My, uh, oh, plant, plant Berlanga. Plant versus either of them makes more sense, yeah, right? Yeah. Because then you got a Puerto Rico versus Mexico situation. Plant is not Puerto Rican or Mexican. No, 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 oh. no, no. What I'm saying is, <laughs> well, so you got I'm USA sorry. versus. I'm sorry, and I'm not, and I'm not saying Plant ain't gonna win. I'm just okay. saying like to match Plant with one of the two of them before matching them two. I think Plant gives them both a hell of a day. Hell I think yeah, he possibly could win both. McGill's gonna be tough. The McGill one is tough. Uh, he he smokes Belanger. And I'm not I'm not saying he, he smokes Belanger. <laughs> I'm rolling with you. Which I almost called him Adam. <laughs> I'm rolling with you, Caleb. You he get, smokes Belanger. All right, all right. Now and now McGill. Did you see my, my post? My, what what tweet? What do I sent? The, I I put a post out. Uh, kind of like saluting Mung, uh, Berlanga. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You I seen that? Yeah, oh, yeah. So I kind of stuck right there okay, right I now. Got like, you, I, I got you. I got you. Like you already <laughs> ride your own horse, baby. <laughs> now, uh, Berlanga, yeah, I just think 
Caleb just too much in the bag, man. He's too skilled. Championship level, it's just it's too much. Man, for, but the last fight though, man, that was it. The guy, we got it, we got it. I, I Did he take it too light? Like hey, Caleb, call McCumbie for us. You, you, you calling Caleb right I now? I meant to get McCumbie on the day. Oh why? Why? Cut, why not? Get Caleb off your that game right now. was throwing some. Uh, you right. ever seen somebody go fly? <laughs> no, that was crazy. Caleb. That was crazy. That was crazy. He got back up though. He got back up. Yeah, I was in the kitchen. I said. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, now you hit him with the who get. The what? The who get, you know. The who get. You know, what, yeah. what's that? Street Fighter. Man, he was yeah. on Street Fighter yeah, type he, stuff. He was hitting him with some shit, but nah. McCumbie, we coming for you, boss. I think he. Uh, Me and Ant. <laughs> nah, I don't want no problems. We, we, we just want to talk. Oh, okay. Talk interview. To okay. I'm about to I want to fight. <laughs> we just want to talk. Oh, to okay. Uh, but no, nah, I think those are three great fights. Uh, the buildup between Belanga and Plant would be great. Even though McCumbie got stopped. Throw him in he, there with some... Yeah, is he worthy of a fight with uh, Berlinga? Is he worthy of a fight? He's not worthy of a fight with Munguia. Munguia, I, say, I think, is... What about Munguia next fight in December? Munguia, McCumbie? Yeah. No. He, he just don't... Okay, I get, think... give him a lot... Get him... A, oh, Demetrius Andrade. Damn. Yeah, Boo Boo out there. Or Elijah. Come on, Boo Boo. Elijah want that? Nah, Elijah. Why y'all keep nah nah, nah you gotta fight. Elijah. <laughs> you, you oh you gotta you gotta Elijah you, and who? It's a rebuild. McGee, uh, McCumbie? Yeah. Oh. It's, a, it's a rebuild. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah. I like we, we got a lot of fights we're putting together here. I like McCumbie. Okay, you got McCumbie. And Berg and Berlanga. Okay. Mangia. I feel like that's 50 50 actually. Yeah, that, that, that's, and I like, that's tough. That's tough. And, and Plant ain't wasting no time, so I like Plant with McGee. It's four one of them belts out there, so yeah. it makes sense. Okay, do, do uh, that makes sense. And the, and does the Undertaker show back up and come come smoke somebody? Dave Benavides. Okay, I was like, who the Undertaker? Yeah, Dave nah, nah. He ain't coming back one sixty eight. Uh, There's some money at one sixty eight. I don't think boy. he coming back to sixty eight. Only for, that, only right? for, yeah, only for. What I don't you, think he's coming back to. What 68? about Morrell? Morrell definitely ain't coming back. To they gonna 68. fight each other before they come back. Yeah, right. I don't see either one of them coming back to sixty eight. Okay. Although I would like to. All right, I was just throwing out there. I don't so think it's gonna happen. You want to see? I want to see Berlanger plant. You want to see Mangia plant. McGee or Berlanga. Yeah. Okay. Shout out I to really want to see Plant Berlanga, though. I know yeah, I just twisted yeah, I that, but... Yeah. The build-up is going to be a hell of a fun. Yeah, Somebody yeah. might get beat up. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some one of their crew just yeah, stay out the way. Yeah. You know? And the, cr the crazy thing for Berlanga, once you've been... Like we always say, once you've been up there, it's kind of funny, but it's a little it's a little easier now. Okay. It's a little easier. You've you've had a taste of how loud it is. You've had a taste of how how much it how it feels. You know what, what I mean? Was your first time you was up there? Would you? I mean, I first? guess my first time. Man, I was ready for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but for one all time of when them, you were like, man, I was this crowd is loud, them, baby. Thurman. Mm -mm -mm. Now nah, I love the crowd plant? though. I mean, plant. Uh, Earl? uh you well, know, it what? was like, man, this crowd. The is crazy loud. thing. I'll tell you the crazy thing. I remember the Terrence fight, and and the, they didn't care who won that fight, which is the funny part about that. It was like if I hit him, they was they was loud. If he hit me, they was loud. And I remember when he started getting off of me, and I I heard them. I was like, I said, "Hold on, what y'all doing?" <laughs> you don't lock in and just yeah, you forget gotta, it. You gotta figure out a way to quiet them down. Oh, you gotta see, figure out a way to quiet them down. Just play a sports shot. When I, when I, even like. Kind of with the culture thing. I don't even hear the crowd when it's in the moment. That's crazy that you actually like you really played to the you crowd. Gotta quiet them down. Oh, my dad has known my whole life. That, I, I noticed my that. Whole you really life. played to the crowd. Like <laughs> my whole life. I shut them down, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I didn't know. I didn't know you really played to them like that. I mean, yeah. For somebody that plays sports at, yeah. that, at a high level, for you to say you hear the crowd, yeah, yeah that means you really play to the crowd. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Yep. Um, but nah, the crowd was never like too much for me. Um, what the booze do to you? Make you feel away? Uh, I the only time I feel like I feel like the only fight I ever got booed at was the fight with Terrence. I feel <laughs> like that booed? was the only fight. Yeah, Pete was booing in the first round. <laughs> oh. 
I heard it was You ain't got boo coming out huh? every four? You ever got boo coming out? I, I was told I was boo coming out, but I ain't hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you yeah. hear the boos coming out. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's cool. Right, let's move let's on. Let's move on, on to on. Joshua. Uh, Dubois. Man. I think you should lace him up. AJ. Me? And, yeah. Don't people call you? Don't people? Yeah, call that's you my family. Yeah, AJ I'm versus not getting AJ. That, man. You're about to sleep me. You don't want to sleep me. You think I'm about to get up there with uh, somebody my size? Hey, yo, where's our, where's our, where's our uh, sperm? Is you ain't got to bring that back. Is that on the YouTube or is it on the Patreon? Was that what? The sparring. We sparred each other. Oh. I, I, he don't even know about that. Okay. We'll get it. We'll get it for y'all next week. Type in. Can you type in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> can you type in Shaw Forty versus? Everything? Why are you, we talking about Dubai Joshua? Ain't nothing I did in that sparring that deserves. I need to be Listen, in there with. Salute to Daniel Dubois. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you, man. I really want him to win that fight. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I was pulling for him too. I really wanted to w- wanted him to win that fight because usually the boxing world, once you've been put in the rearview mirror. The boxing world usually leaves you there. Mm-hmm. And I truly feel like he has really, one step at a time, climbed himself back into the position Man. that he was in. We can't ignore everything that AJ has been through. AJ, too, has climbed himself back into this position. But the boxing world never put him in the rearview mirror. You know what I'm saying? No, nope, that's crazy. You he might have been in the side yep. mirror. You know what I mean? Yep. If any, But I feel like he was still in the passenger seat. You know yep. what I mean? Probably, I don't even think they put him in the back seat. Yeah, you gotta ride the back. Yeah, like I think he still was like, you know, riding yeah. in the passenger seat, and they just, you know, driving him. You know, hey, let's get back where we are going. And I think he made it back to where they wanted him to be. You know. And after that fight, if you see Tyson Fury, told tell him like, damn, cost me one hundred fifty million. His plan was to beat Usyk, most likely fight AJ, and then probably retire. Nobody has ever talked about a Daniel Dubois versus. I don't know. Tyson Fury. But Daniel Dubois said I'm here. Yeah. And I didn't realize how young he was. I'm thinking Daniel Dubois, 35, yeah. 36, 27 years old. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking he up there with, like, about to get out of there. Yeah. Daniel Dubois going to run the boxing if they keep playing with him. Dang. Because hey, many say he beat beat Usyk. He said many. <laughs> I'm one of the ones that, like, beat Usyk. He bro, did. he hit him and Usyk was down for five minutes holding his, <laughs> his upper lower stomach yeah that was that was i forgot about that yeah that was some BS. Oh, okay okay you that was some bs fight ended huh you yeah, yeah, about how the fight yeah, ended. yeah 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 that was some bs but yeah. i i don't know i can't i don't really want to all right let's not go moment, back there but all right, yeah. last night man what i like you know i think me and you the same way when you want when you fighting even though he's a champion they looking at you like the b-side bro he went out there got on his front dubai was the ibf champion oh he was yeah he got out there, yeah, because they stripped Usyk and all that stuff. Uh, he got out down his front foot, Sean, and got on his ass immediately. Did he drop him in the first? Mm-hmm. Got on his ass immediately and had AJ bagging up. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is kind of how you beat AJ. You mm-hmm. keep AJ on his back foot because once AJ starts coming forward, it builds confidence. And as you let that thing build up, AJ gonna really start throwing them things. Listen, shout out to Pro Box TV. They asked me if I, if you were in da- Daniel Dubois' corner. What would you tell him to do to fight to beat Anthony Joshua? And I told him, I said, tell, I would. It sounds cliche, but I would tell him to be himself. Mm-hmm. Just because it's AJ, don't change anything. Mm-hmm. Keep boxing the way you've been boxing. Work your jab just like he worked his jab, and set up your big right hand the way he set up his big right hand. And I said, the thing I liked most about this fight, I felt like they were mirroring one another in so many ways. Mm-hmm. Outside the ring, inside the ring, their ups and downs, the questions that people have had for them, the wins, the losses, all that kind of stuff. I felt like even the, the the building, the coming back to this moment process, they, I felt, mirrored each other almost identically. And that's why I love this fight, because I felt like something like this could happen, but it happened and I didn't expect it to happen as fast Man, as it did. It was five rounds of, this is what boxing is about. Especially at the that was old division. school, huh? Yeah, that was five old school. Rounds. Yeah, and it felt like we got twenty four. Yeah, rounds. that was old school right there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Another thing I didn't know, Sean. Like I don't know why I looked down to Boss so much. I thought it was gonna be like an Andy Ruiz, 
uh, Joshua size wise, not like fat. Oh, but like just the, height. the height. Right? How and I'm like, hold on, he's the same. Yeah. Size. He's six six. He's six five. I love that I'm man. Like, then, I'm like, Rob, if we could do this again, it yeah, ain't gonna I, happen again. Yeah, but if we could do it again, I love this. Yeah, I would dude, love. I gotta move yeah. forward and get the winner out of the. I'm not Tyson. Yeah, like in my mind, I'm thinking like if this never happened, I would I would want it all yeah. <laughs> all over again. You know what I mean? I definitely a Groundhog's Day of this right here. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. With a different little with a little difference every time, that'd be all right. Um, listen, I feel like AJ, he looked ready. Yeah. He didn't didn't look like either of them had more or less than the other. You know? Oh, there it is. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, he man. came right after me, y'all. I don't all know right. if y'all so, saw so this. So my strategy fight sparring Sean. I don't know why the hell we went from a go amazing why we fight talk about to this, this nonsense. <laughs> So we're we running back another time. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about another. this another time. That's disrespectful. We'll analyze that's, this that's another time. That's disrespectful to Josh. Oh, look, look where he went to. Oh, uh, yeah. That's how I almost got clipped. Yeah. Uh, what the hell was you saying? Nah, I was going to say some shit, but it don't matter. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Dubai. Man, I thought he came in there with a great strategy. Get on AJ. Don't let AJ get comfortable. And I feel like a lot of people let AJ get comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then when he hit him in the first round, I was like, oh, man, this is it. The ref. Did yeah. you? What was you doing, bro? I like, did not like that ref. You, hey, Sean. <laughs> like he is all over. Hey, you can't even put your your chin. Uh, hey, like he giving AJ. He was AJ guy. Yeah, yeah. That was. I never. I don't. I've seen a few times, but that was crazy, Sean. The ref is a was a lot. I ain't gonna say who it was. You know the name, the ref. I ain't gonna say who it was. This was two thousand and four. <laughs> Damn. No, no, no. This was 2005, I think. Dropped this kid. And I mean, clocked him. You did? Yeah, okay. clocked him. The ref goes over <laughs> to the kid, starts counting, right? And then falls down like this. The ref fell? He was counting, right? And the kid was on the, like, the kid was like on the, on the canvas. So he goes down to count him while the kid's getting up. Then he falls down like this. Restarts the count. True story. Restarts the count, right? Then he counted the eight because it's a standing eight. Was that his count. hometown kid? Nope. This is a standing eight count. So it's a it's an eight count. I mean, you, you know. This dude you was fighting as a name, was a name? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We we ran headgears. The kid, I don't know how I clocked him and his uh his his uh tank top is now hanging on his headgear. Like so the ref the, fixed the it? strap. The ref fixed it. Hey, <laughs> true story. Hey, didn't just take this off and say, let's go. Took it off, patting, smoothed him out, all that, bro. I'm talking about 15 seconds, 20 seconds. After you clipped him. After I clipped him. Now, that kind of clipping, you not even they not even supposed to let you get up. Yeah. They not even supposed to count. You know? I, so I felt like we was getting a lot of that. Like, after he got knocked down the first time, I think he like, Jay, let AJ get up and like, you good? You good? All right, come walk to me. I'm like, bro. Let them fight move out of the way, bro. And even like one time when I'm thought, I thought, I think shot. everybody thought the fight was over. Yeah, yeah, because because he didn't, he didn't. I don't think he bro, did. he didn't. No, I don't he, think did, he did this. Sean, he, he did, did this. That. <laughs> that means the fight's over. If you did this, I get it. My man said, and everybody's like, okay, he won. So I was already on this shit, right? <laughs> but then when I seen that, I said, you're done. You're done. <laughs> I said the next time he go down, because I knew he was going. I said next time he go down, you better stop the fight. The one thing I'm like, Dubai, now you can't go down. Yeah. One, two, three. I'm like, he gonna get you out of here. And like, AJ came back. Yeah, and yeah. Man, listen, I gotta tell you, man. My love for boxing, my appreciation for boxing, has grown tremendously in the mm -hmm. last couple of years. And one thing that. I've come to learn from doing this podcast and seeing people's comments and stuff like that. And specifically when we talk about Canelo versus Benavidez. I hear more people saying, and I know it ain't true. Y'all, y'all, y'all just trying to get him got. I hear all these people saying, we just want to see the fight. We don't care what happened, but we want to see the fight. When you when you duck somebody, we can't respect that. We respect when you get in the ring. Now I know if Canelo get in the ring and he get clocked. By Benavidez. And by the way, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. That's another story for another show for another time. But I know it's a lot of people out there talking about some, we just want to see the fight happen. One thing that people understand and appreciate about this sport more than they understand the judging, how to score rounds, all that kind of stuff. 
They understand the heart. Mm-hmm. You see it right there in the moment. And, and it shows us a lot. What I appreciated about this fight is a lot of times fighters will come out and they're hesitant. And you don't know what was said in the corner. And I couldn't tell whether or not the corner told him, go get him. Or if the corner told him to be hesitant. <laughs> but he but said, the fact that he just went out there and went it. for him and love went it. for it. It's like, yo, AJ had, this got to be AJ's last one. Got to be. And I feel like he he knew this is it and I'm going to go out. To me, that's going out on your shield more than yeah. being taken out of the ring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like going out on your shield is doing what needs to be done and whatever happens, happens. Uh, in the fifth round, you saying this was AJ Corner said to him in the fifth round. Yeah. Okay, okay. I yeah, like, like, go, like going out. Okay, this is the, you got to go get it. You hurt? My fight with Arrow after that 11th round when I got caught, the, the 12th round going out, my dad was like, you know, just box, keep yourself safe. You said my mindset, like I really wanted to go after him, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the corner said different, you know? Right here, I don't know what the corner said, but the fact that he went out there and went for it and almost got it too. Yeah, yeah. Almost got yeah, it too. my man too. stumbling and then I'm like, okay. Damn, I said, Dubai, do not get an exchange. Do not get... <laughs> oh, no! Which brings me to Uh-oh. the thing about AJ. Everybody talks about him being a physical specimen, 100%. Everybody talked about him not possibly not having heart, and then we saw him make himself, himself back. Yeah. The thing that was evident to me, and now as I say this, I thought about it yesterday, but now as I say it, I really want to retract this because... What could have been standing in the way was him being hurt in general. But I just felt like it was the worst decision he could have ever made to try to throw an uppercut. I felt like that was the worst decision he could have ever made. And I'm retracting this as I'm saying it, but in the moment, I felt like he showed his where his level of intelligence was at. To me, that wasn't some that wasn't something that 99% of fighters would go to is mm-hmm. an uppercut when you in the ring with a big dude that's swinging just as hard as you. Everything is why it don't make sense to, to bring yourself open. Mm-hmm. And so I felt like in the moment, I felt like he was showing his intelligence, his intelligent level. And I felt like, yo, why did you pick that punch? But he probably thought his, his that punch was smart. buzz right in that that's Exactly. While yeah. I retract. In the moment, I said, yo, that wasn't smart. I said he just he not a, that wasn't smart. You weren't yeah. that wasn't smart boxing right there. But you're right. He could have just in the in the heat of everything and him being hurt Got multiple it. times, he just he just threw the punch. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, man, to see him go for it was that was crazy. Yeah, and no, I love man that what the, both of those guys gave us. Not just Dubai, AJ too, just gave us five rounds of spirited effort. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you want out of a box. I know you big on, do something. Do something. <laughs> Sean and shut a fight off. Like, I only know that Sean made it 12 round with, with Berlanga and Canelo. I'm be honest with you. Because Sean ain't, Sean ain't about the nonsense. So it's just like, it's like that right there, man. That's what we want out of boxing, man. When you get up in there, just give us effort. I always go Put back my to... my boys to bed. Yeah, yeah this dude. <laughs> it's just like, bro, give us effort. We the, You will get more from the from uh, fans if you go out there and just die on your shield. Yeah. We love you. Like, we still take nothing from AJ, man. Yeah. It's like, yeah. okay, bro, you got knocked out, but yeah. we, you get more respect from than Belanga got. And let's redefine that that definition of, of going on in your shield. Mm-hmm. It's not going, it's not getting... They're warriors in our eyes already. Yeah. Show us that. Show us your warrior. You know what I mean? Yeah. With your intelligence and with your grit and your might. Not with your, oh, they said, ah, they want to see my heart. No, no, no. We want you to be calculated. We want you to be smart, but we want you to go for it. We want you to understand that this is the last round. I ain't won none of the rounds, but I'm still here. I'm about to try to win this round. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, a lot of guys still have that mindset of I'm going out on my shield, meaning like it's either life or death. Slow it down, bruh. It ain't about life or death. It's about doing what you're supposed to do. Also, what you're capable of doing. Berlanga was capable more in that sixth round. I think we're in an era now, Sean, where you cut from a different cloth. And that's, I'll put AJ in there, I'll put you in there. Just, we're going to fight. Yeah. 
And then it's social media. Well, I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want to be a mean. <laughs> yeah. I, I, at least I survived. Yeah. I survived. Yeah. That's not what it, the real boxing fans don't want to see. That we want to see you get see somebody get clipped. You show us what you got. You get more respect. You know, one thing about the boxing game, I see people get embarrassed, but still, the fans always show them love. I mm-hmm. see people talk bad about it, and I'm like, the fans still give you love. Yeah. So it's no matter what, the boxing fans will be there, but it's just they have more respect from you yeah. when they get that warrior yeah. mentality out of you. Yeah, I was just thinking about my fight with Terrence, and it's like, you know, I've never really allowed people to see me in weakness, mm-hmm. you know, and I felt like that was probably one, if vulnerable. not the only time yeah. you saw me like vulnerable down yeah. on the canvas, you know. Um, and, you know, I don't watch that that moment yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I get so yeah. many people, man, when you was banging your fist on the, on the, on what the, was you thinking? Da, 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 da. I was pissed at myself, yeah. you know what I mean? But I, I, I don't, re, I don't even revisit it in my mind because it's somewhat of an embarrassing moment, yeah. you know what I mean? But at the same time, you're right. People, people want to see that, but they want to see you get up and they mm. want to see you continue and perform, you know? And then the other side of it is when you can't get back up. We, we respect that you got up a couple times and we see that you can't get up now. Now our attention goes to the winner because we understand now that this is Gladiators mm-hmm. and he did everything that he could do before he got into the ring and then he conquered you. You know what I mean? So, man, this was this was one for the books yeah, for no, me. Yeah, this, this one of them won. Like this I said, one for the books if for Dubai me. didn't have more business, I'll run it back. But yeah. Dubai got business to handle. <laughs> and he want to get more titles. He want to make more money. So, yeah. I get it. And in front of almost 100,000, that was crazy. Yeah. Star-studded event. You know, yeah. all them boys was there last night. So shout out to Haney. He got in the, he got, he got in the building. They were trying to hold him out. Mm. Yeah, he didn't want to give him a ticket. I don't know. Some, uh, some nonsense. Uh, yeah. Twitter uh, stuff. I don't yeah. know. Don't listen, don't listen to me. <laughs> I will let it go. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, but that, that was a star-studded event, man. It was Everybody was there. I, I like to see how it was like. I like it was Tyson, McGregor, Terrence. Haney, yeah. all sitting in the same little yeah, area. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. Usyk. It's like, the best okay. part of the game, yeah, man, man, man. Being around that energy. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, I, lo- I love that. And I love when they take pictures. It's always a person. Like, one thing about me, when Sean take pictures with, like, legends and stuff, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm out of the picture. Mm-hmm. You, Some people, <laughs> you got to know, get the fuck out the picture. I seen one person in the picture with, like, Tyson, Terrence, Usyk, Haney, and somebody else. It's like... Well, who are you, man? <laughs> you gotta know when, like, you gonna mess up the picture. And I realize that sometimes people are like, hey, man, we all get in there. I'm like, nah, yeah. that's Sean and other boxers. I've never yeah, been there before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, people would just, I'm gonna fuck. Yeah, I'm in the room. Yeah, like, yeah. People be wanting that moment. <laughs> <laughs> people be wanting that moment. And it'd be funny, too, because, like, when it's, if it's us, yeah. my, dad, my dad be like, all right, let him do it, let him do it. All right, get out. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then we do, you know, do what we you gotta, gotta do. I had so. those moments, man. Like, but yeah, shout out to the Sport of Boxing. It was one of them nights when we won last night. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's we need more wins in the Sport of Boxing. I gotta do this. Um shout out to Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Yes. I wanted to get him on the podcast today. It was this was I didn't even think about it until this morning and I did reach out to him. Um I've given this dude a lot of flack over the years. You know, he had the mm-hmm. situation with PDs and I felt like he was a guy that was very promising and seemed to just held himself back. Mm-hmm. The fight that he had with Andy Ruiz, and he had this fight with Daniel Dubois, he looked like shit against Daniel Dubois. Okay, I'm about to say, yeah, okay. And then he looked almost, yeah, I'd go ahead and say 360 mm-hmm. against Andy Ruiz. Excuse me. And then there were things that, that, that were being said that he didn't have a full camp and all these other things before fighting Dubois. And, you know, all these things that could be considered... Um, excuses. And I say, you know what? I think I want to see this kid, Big Baby Miller, in the ring against against uh, Daniel Dubois. What says you? Hmm. I want to see him in the ring against AJ. You want to see? Uh... Yeah, they, they got bo- <laughs> they got built up blood, bad blood between them. <laughs> I don't know. Daniel Dubai, I don't know if he deserves a Daniel Dubai. That that's Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. my thing right now. You can't just get everybody don't get Daniel Dubai. Yeah. He's a champion right yeah, now. Yeah, and he's yeah. He's about yeah. to fight for the unified off all the belts. Yeah. So I would like to see him and AJ though. And mm-hmm. I know, I know uh Big Baby won't AJ. Mm-hmm. And I know AJ wanna punish Big Baby. Yeah. Let's do it. Listen, man, yeah. Um 
It's 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 I'm I'm curious to see what what AJ does. Mm-hmm. I I hate retiring people, but I I there's really not much else that he needs to do for the mm-hmm. sake of words. The fight the fight with Tyson Fury just isn't there anymore. Okay, what about the other fight? I felt like it was hardly there anyway because I feel like Tyson has just done almost twice as much as AJ mm-hmm. in some respects, um, to the point that he doesn't need that AJ fight. Um, but we still kind of wanted it or whatever the case may be. We know England wanted it, but it seems like that fight isn't there anymore. But for AJ, should he come back? There's a fight that everybody keep talking about. I'm not mad. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, they yeah. want don't I, I don't want to see it. Yeah. Everybody keep bringing it up. I get I got a lot of text messages about it. All right, there's only one fight AJ can fight now. Wilder. <laughs> Said, man, I don't want to see that fight. That yeah. fight don't sell no more, but People feel like they need. It's like one of the fights. Uh, who was a fight we got in? Like, uh, was it uh, Roy Jones and and uh, uh, Bernard? And we Bernard. got it a little late. Yeah, the rematch. We got, we got a lot of uh, Floyd and Mosley. Floyd and yeah, uh, maybe even Floyd and Pack. Yeah, Floyd maybe and Pack. Yeah, Floyd and Pack definitely. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, so I, I just think it's beyond. I mean, if they give it to us, they give it to us. Yeah. I mean, Somebody getting knocked out. Yeah, I'm not crazy about Me it, either. but I, I, you know, I, I was crazy about it until the fight with uh, Big Bang, Jang, Jang and uh, and Wilder. Man, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Right now, I mean, if the fight did get made, sixty forty AJ. Yeah. Listen, man, I say that fight is just like the fight with Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Ryan, Garcia. Ryan sh- had, we had seen Ryan do amazing things, but we could see how limited he was mm-hmm. in everything that he had been doing. We just could see it. We could, we saw, that, man, this kid's fast, mm-hmm. and we saw that he got power, but we didn't really see much else. We didn't see good foot movement. We didn't see good counter ability, you know, great timing with this hook, you know, things of that nature. But the overall package and that and a fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, we all thought that Ryan just was not on the level of Devin Haney. And this is what I kept telling y'all. I said Ryan could go back into his into his bag. Being Nobody his past, said, being I thought his you past, were just talking. Yeah, being his past and pull on experiences. From his past and that energy, feeling like I could, I got him then, I can get him now, and something crazy could happen, and it, it ended up happening. I'm not saying I knew it was because I yeah. didn't, <laughs> but I thought that that was something. But the same thing with the fight with that with uh with Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, where these guys have been through a lot. We know they punch resistance, ain't what it used yeah. to be. D done been in the ring with Tyson Fury. That's just too much. AJ, it's a lot. Yeah. But in a fight between one another, they both could summon some energies that they mm. was feeling back in 2016, mm. 2017, 2018. Dang, this, this one is, time we had it. This fight well overdue. It, it was scheduled one time. Am I tripping? Uh, and then like Tyson got in the way. I don't know. I, I could have sworn it was like it got to that point. Yeah. But yeah, I, I mean. But I think. I don't want to see it. I think. Cause I think this is so. I think this is what everybody y'all feel like. Y'all we getting too old, like two <laughs> two grandpas in the ring now. Again, based on boxing, and based on what's happened in the ring, you're a little bit older than 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 what's on paper. The boxing ages you. Combat sports ages you. Oh, I got. I see what you're saying. Damn. Combat sports ages you. Mm. Even football players. Yeah. So they're a little bit older than what's on paper. So yeah, I get it. Y'all like y'all feel like yo, these guys is over the hill. We don't want to see them. But in a fight against one another, we might get a little bit of something like Fireworks. that. Works. Yeah, it might get a little bit of something like that. So we'll see. I don't you know. know, some people got a lot of fights this weekend. We got uh, the young boys. I call yeah. them the young boys. Yeah, the, the top rank, the top top rank YBs. <laughs> YBs. Uh, we gonna get a Xander in the ring, Shoo Shoo in the ring, uh, our boy Vito in the ring, Floyd Diaz. Tiger Johnson. We got ESPN. Is that Saturday? Is that Friday, Friday or Saturday? Friday. Friday night, we got ESPN. Elvis um, Rodriguez in the ring, too. Who that? El- oh, El- yeah. Everyone's yeah. coming back, too. Yep. Back. Um, Homegirl Michaela. 
Shout out to Cash Flow, um, Floyd Diaz. Uh, grew up in Floyd's gym. Uh, one of the young lions out there. He'll he'll be getting back in the ring. I think he's either one twenty two or one twenty six. Um, but he he's he's a he's a talent as well. Venom weight. Um, looking forward to seeing Tiger Johnson back in the ring too. Um, Bruce Bruce, Carrington coming back. Yeah. Xander. Where you at? One fifty four. One fifty four. That's crazy. The next. Oh, he got oh one fifty four. It's telling you, boots get the boots. We got our boots and Xander possible Ooh. in five years. Ooh. I Good never Lord. even thought about that. Ooh. I never even that never crossed my Not mind. Not till just right now. now, right? That's possible Damn. in five years. That's a beautiful fight. Ooh. That is a beautiful fight. Right here at the T Mobile. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. Oh, okay, all right. No, we, got we, got, we gotta let him get past Sosa real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damon but that's Sosa. a man. Man. Shout out to our girl uh, Michaela Mayer. She back in the ring coming off a loss. Headline in the dang yeah. thing, too. Yeah, ver- yeah, yeah. Shout out to the girl. Yeah. Shout out to the girl. <laughs> Versus uh Sandy Ryan. She's seven one and one. So we'll see. See what she brings to the ring coming from, over from the UK. Uh, WBO welterweight uh, champion, I think. Uh, yeah, she beat Terry Harper. Uh, when a draw against our girl Jessica McCaskill. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's see if we can get we can. Uh, you, you know what I want? I want I, I at the <laughs> same day we got another fight. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? Same, yeah, same day. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Same day we got another fight. Brinks TV. It's Brinks TV. How do you know Brinks all this? Brinks TV. I'm familiar. Okay. This is down in uh, Georgia? Yeah. Fayetteville? Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Alicia Baumgartner fighting. Uh, Delphine Pursun. Yeah, this Persoon. girl has a lot of, uh, I think my man Zartel already gave you guys a breakdown, but she has a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. Been in the ring with all of them, 49-3. and three. Uh, Fought Katie Taylor twice. To, uh, lost both of those, but I mean, Ooh, could be a little awkward style for... Uh, Alicia, Alicia Mom Gardner, but I think she gets it done with the big bomb. And then, uh, end of the year, let's get the rematch. Michaela Mayer, and I've been preaching. It's been, how long has it been, man? It ain't been but a year. It ain't been. Maybe well, come on, been, man. You sure? Time flying. I'm feeding for that 22. Two years. Dang. I'm feeding for that fight. I don't know, but I'm feeding for that fight. I don't know, Sean. Feeding for it. December? Yeah. December, man. Vegas? Yeah, Vegas. <laughs> Michaela Mayer, Bob Gardner. I'm hey. going. I don't even go to fight. <laughs> I'm pulling up. Yeah, I, I promise you. New kid, everything. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, pulling yeah. up. You taking them? <laughs> nah, nah, you're taking too far. <laughs> I'll be there for that, man. We got it. I don't understand why we didn't get that rematch yet, man. Uh, it's been simmering. We're going to get it again. Uh, we going? Yeah. It, I don't even know. If, I feel like we what need if, to. What if they do you like Roy and Bernard? Oh man, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know, man. I feel like we need to market in in spring the build up. I need them to talk shit for six months. December and then. I just want. I love. I love the outside because they've been chilling. They they forgot. Act like they forgot about each other. Uh, <laughs> Come on now, man. Let me. And I I never get. No, they've been in camp. They nah, been in okay, camp. They, yeah. I, Nah, I'm, I'll be up in there like she called you a beat. Come on, get, she ain't get on her nothing, ass. So I ain't saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need this to build back up, man. Yeah. That was. It's a great fight. It's a great money fight. It's two different styles. Uh, I, I, I mean, I ain't looking past their opponents, but I really want that fight, man. I just think you guys did so. Much. I, 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 I have no problem being a trilogy. Mm-hmm. Like Michaela get this one, and mm-hmm. then they run it back one more time because. It's only so many fights for women out there. I was just about and to say, you look at money. women's basketball, yeah. it's, it's somewhere yeah. it hasn't been in a long time because yeah. there's a lot of good players mm-hmm. all around. And women's boxing is doing a lot the same, where there's a lot, it's not just yeah. one in, there, in, in, in a couple of divisions. Now it's two or three in every division mm-hmm. now. So, um, no, I agree. And 100%. I think it's, they. I mean, a lot of people felt Michaela won the fight. I know I felt like uh, Alicia won the fight. But close fight. Yeah, great yeah, fight. fight was close. And there's money making fights for both women mm-hmm. that they can't make with other people, I feel. Mm-hmm. So let's do it. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. I'm, I'm, I'm here for that. Dang. I like that. Yeah, right here in Vegas. Hey, you gotta bring it to Vegas. Put, put it put it on the put it on the nah, that's too far away. But I was gonna say put it on the Terrence Crawford Canelo on the card as a co main. <laughs> I don't even think they both got any involvement with PC, <laughs> motherfucker. 
And I think that is it. That's it for us. Yeah. So you got a little motivation for him? I got a little motivation. Okay, give him some. What I got? Oh. Trust the process, y'all. Yeah. Got to understand that life ain't nothing but process after process after process. I'm not going to break it all the way down for y'all, but I want to keep it very, very simple. Just trust the process. There's things you're going through. Even the, for the people out here that's watching the, that's watching the show and everything's going well for you, keep trusting that process. Trust that everything you're doing, keep doing it how it's being done. Anywhere you need to make minor adjustments, make, make those adjustments. But for the ones that are struggling, just trust the process. It ain't always going to be easy. And even as you go through the process and you're seeing things and things are coming to light and all that kind of stuff, just keep trusting it. You get to the finish line as long as you trust the process. This is The Port Away. Stay blessed.